Alrighty, welcome back to another live stream. Today we're gonna be simming, or not simming, we're gonna be doing the roster editing, part number three. So we're gonna start with the San Jose Sharks. Um, I figured it'd be a good idea to go with one of the teams that did not make the playoffs this year. They, I repeat, they did not make the playoffs, as we all know, I guess, already. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna start with the San Jose Sharks. We're gonna edit their players and um, see what we can do. So I'm on the NHL.com website, and I'm gonna go through their team, see who put out the best points per game, and uh, go from there. So if anyone has any suggestions for how I should edit the San Jose Sharks, please do let me know. I will be only streaming till about 7.20 for about like just under an hour because the Habs game's on tonight and I really wanna watch it with my parents. So this is all the time I have sadly between work and the Habs game. So let's start with San Jose. Uh, looking at Evander Kane, he put up 49 points in 56 games, minus one. So his defensive stats aren't that great, but he would have had a 72 point season, which is about an 87 overall for Evander Kane. So that's pretty darn good. Um, one of their bright spots this year. So I'm going to give him a bit of an upgrade. A bit of an upgrade on what he was. Uh, I'm going to make him medium elite because. He's already at the maximum age anyway. Um, so we gave him a bit of an upgrade on like passing and his shot. You know, he had 22 goals this year, so it's pretty impressive. So we said 87 for Evander Keen. So let's do that. Strength, upgrade that. Uh, durability, he missed no time at all. So he gets an upgrade there. Deakin can be 89. Aggressiveness always is up there. And hand dive we can upgrade. And offensive awareness. Perfect. 87 for Vander Keen. That was easy. That was an easy one. Uh, moving on to Thomas Hurdle. He averaged 0.86 points per game. So that's uh, a 71 point season. He also gets to become an 87 overall player. Uh, man, it's the rookie movement this year, eh? Not rookie, but uh, the future movement in a way. If that makes sense. Because uh, Logan Couture is going to be downgraded for sure. So puck control, passing, shooting... All gets upgraded a little bit here. A pretty solid season. Strength gets an up. Oh, 87 right there. All downgrades defensive awareness. Upgrades offensive awareness. There you go. Um, what is he listed as right now? Medium six. I'll leave him as medium six. I think that's fair. Because I think he still has room to grow in this game, right? Mm, not really. Right, I'll make him medium elite. I'll make a medium elite so he doesn't drop off a cliff in terms of talent after one bad season. Um, <laughs> but yeah, he definitely earned that upgrade. He had almost 20 goals. He had 19 goals in 50 games. It's pretty good. Brett Burns. Brandy Burns. 29 points in 56 games. It's a pretty good offensive year, but sadly, he gets, he gets the boot. He gets the downgrade. Speed's going to be lower. Body checking can stay up there. Endurance going to be lowered. Puck control's going to be lowered. Passing's going to be lowered. Power can stay the same, but accuracy can go down. That can come down. Strength can stay the same. Acceleration gets down. Durability definitely goes down. No, he had a full season. You know what? He is healthy. Deacon goes down. Gustums goes up. Uh, hand eye can go down. Shot blocking. Offensive awareness goes down. Especially defensive awareness. He's not that great. I feel like Brent Burns and an 84 is pretty rough, but uh, didn't have a great year. He did not have a great year. He's a minus 12. So 84 overall for Brent Burns. Mark Edward Vlasic is going to get dropped fast. Uh, six points minus seven. Didn't do anything. This guy's going down to like an 81. Um, and I have all the love in the world for uh, Vlasic because... Uh, <laughs> he grew up in the same neighborhood that I did, or one town over from me, so this kind of breaks my heart a little bit, downgrading him like this, but uh, definitely necessary. He's not the same player he used to be, so yeah, rough. Rough waters for Vlasic here. Ryan Donato, how did you do this year, my friend? A .4 pace, so it's a 33-point season. 81 overall is what you get. That's not too bad. I would not consider this guy a two-way forward, though, by any means. So I'll probably change that. I think it's a slight upgrade, though, in his categories. 
and uh, there you go. Ryan Donato, and he's going to become a playmaker. Because he, uh, yeah, yeah, 14 assists. He's definitely not a two-way forward. He's a minus 10. Didn't play that great, so let's make that change. Patty Marlowe, uh, going to be downgraded just a little bit. It's a pretty rough season, my guy. That's a pretty rough season. Speed, like an 85. Endurance, puck control, like those get downgraded a little bit. Downgraded. Downgraded, downgraded, down. Like he had a rough year. He was healthy, so he, he can have high durability. But uh, poise, I'll make him good. He's a very smart player, so I'll leave him his awareness. But like everything else, is downgraded. So 79 overall for Patrick Marlowe. That's rough. Uh, Matt Nieto, but he's not going to retire anytime soon, I don't think. But I'll leave him like that. Mario Ferraro. Uh, had a decent season, actually, this year. I think I'm going to upgrade him just slightly. Um, he had a better year than Vlasic, so... There's that. <laughs> Poor Vlasic, dude. He's just getting ripped on this year. Um, I think 79 is fair. Just a slight upgrade. Nothing, uh, nothing crazy. Uh, Radic Simic, Shimic, six points, 40 games, minus nine. Now you can say about the same where he is. Rudolph Balsers, he had a 0.41 pace. He gets a bit of an upgrade. A bit of an upgrade for Rudolph, eh? I like it. He's still a sniper, though, that's for sure. So I'll make his that. Yeah, I'll make that, like that, like that. It's just a slight upgrade in the shooting category. And uh, balance. And where's his awareness? There you go. Rudolph Ballsters gets an upgrade. 80 overall. Uh, John Leonard. 13 points in 44 games. Where's John Leonard at? Um, 13 points, 44 games. A point three pace. He's supposed to be like around an 80 overall. I'll upgrade him a little bit. Body checking definitely gets upgraded. Endurance up to like an 82. Accuracy like an 81. Aggressiveness definitely gets an upgrade. Um, shot blocking is definitely getting an upgrade. There you go. He's more of a two-way. There we go. John Leonard gets a nice upgrade. Dylan, <laughs> Dylan Gambrell did not have a great year. Marcus Sorensen. How did Marcus Sorensen did he even play? Rough year. He can stay. They, these guys can all stay in the 79s. I just want to downgrade their main players. Um, Eric Carlson. 22 points, my guy. That's rough. That's rough. He gets a downgrade. His speed is definitely not a 91. Get out of here, EA Sports. You clearly haven't seen this guy play. <laughs> His puck control and passing, I'm going to leave because he's a great passer. Power and accuracy. He still has a good wrist shot. Agility is just down. Acceleration. His acceleration is okay. It's just his speed. Is, his max speed isn't good. Deking is, yeah, he's still good. Poise, I'm sure you play well in the playoffs. Hand eye, I'm sure he's still pretty good. Shot blocking, downgrade. Defensive awareness, definitely lowered. I'll leave him at an 84 for now. 84 overall, Eric Carlson. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, but, ooh, Kevin LeBanc is not a two-way forward. 28-point season, so 0.51. How'd you do, Kevin LeBanc? 42-point season, 83 overall is where you are. Low top six seems fair. Let's make you a sniper. You don't seem like much of a two-way forward. Let's be real. <laughs> He doesn't seem like much of a two-way considering his plus minus is abysmal. Although his whole team's plus minus is abysmal. I guess there is that. Timo Meyer, 0.57 point per game pace. Or point, yeah, 0.57 point per game pace is a 47 point season. He gets his own groove.
think it's a nice downgrade. Now knowing EA Sports, he probably just has really good awareness. Yeah. There you go. 83 overall team of Meyer. Logan Couture is literally going to be the same overall. Where's Logan Couture? There he is. He hit an 80. He hit an 86. Not after this year. This was a bad year. Eighty four is fair. I think eighty four overall is fair for Logan Couture. But there you go. That's it. That's all for the San Jose Sharks. Just kidding. Oh wait, he's terrible. How did Coach Nardu? How'd this goalie do? Eight ninety nine. You know what I'm gonna do? Cause he's very young, and he's already playing in the NHL. Low starter. Let's see what he can do. The ball's in his court. <laughs> Martin Jones is getting downgraded even more. This dude's been nowhere near an NHL caliber goalie in years. Seventy-nine overall, Martin Jones, with low starter potential. Hey, hey. <laughs> Let's see what they can do with that. <laughs> All right. Moving on to the Ottawa Senators. So, looking at the Ottawa Senators. Matt Murray went 10 and 13 with an 893. Philip Gustafson had a 933. Joy Decord, that's about right. Holberg, that's about right. Anton Forsberg was good when he played, but he didn't play enough. He only played eight games. So that's fine. Matt Murray. That seems fair to me. But uh, where is their boy, Philip Gustafson? So let's go to the Belleville Senators. Let's go to their goalies. This guy, oh my god, are you serious? The dude went seven. The, guy, the dude went five one and two with a nine thirty three. Medium starter is fair. I'm gonna leave him at medium starter, but I'm gonna definitely upgrade him to at least an eighty. They're not an eighty, but like a seventy nine. Now, this dude was good. Like I, I trust me. I, I watched the Canadian games. He was very good. So congratulations to him on the upgrade. Mm, there's one else down here that I really see that deserves an upgrade. So let's move on to the players. So I'm just trying to get it ready for NHL.com. All right, let's move on to the players. For the Ottawa Senators. Now, plus minus is going to be something interesting to look at. If I see a guy who's a good plus, then I'll consider boosting them. But I'm not going to pay too much attention to the minus. Um, or I probably will. I don't know. I'll see how I'm feeling. <laughs> 0 0.64 times 82 games is a 53-point season for Brady Kachuk. So he's about an 84 overall. And when you have it, EA Sports got that one dead on. Jake Batherson is not up for debate. It's only like that because he was a, uh, an MVP in one of my series. So he stays like that. All right, so Thomas Shabbat. Um, he's on 0.63 pace. He's on a 52-point pace as a defenseman. He literally carries his team. I'm going to leave him as that. Maybe it's controversial. I don't know, but I'm going to leave him as that. If someone has any, something to say about it, they can. I don't care. I'll take your... I'll listen to what you have to say, and I'll probably stick with his overall. So, again, Danoff had a 30-point season or pace, so he gets a bit of a downgrade this year. Sorry, Evgeny Dadnoff, but uh, you still have speed. I don't know about endurance. 
Your puck control is going to be lowered. Your passing is going to be lowered. Your shooting is going to be lowered. 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 Because quite frankly, he did not have a, the greatest year ever. Now, there is an Ottawa factor, so I'll leave him at an 82 instead of an 81. But that's that. Uh, Josh Norris had a good year. Josh Norris was good. So 35 points in 56 games, 0 0.63 point per game pace. It's a 52 point season. Josh Norris gets a sweet upgrade. He played great at the end of the year. I don't know if he was the fastest player, but he's very well rounded. So I'll definitely take that into consideration. He gets a sweet upgrade. Face off percentage for Josh Norris. 52. Damn, good for you, man. Played almost all year? He played all year. Good for this guy. Aggressive, man. He's in Ottawa. He's always going to be aggressive. Hand-eye. Yeah, they're like tipping and blocking shots. Offense awareness. Good. Yo, this guy got an upgrade and a half. Um, yeah, 84 makes sense. So congratulations to Josh Norris. I'm going to turn him into a playmaker rather than a uh, two-way forward because he had a good year and he looked like he was making plays out there. Connor Brown. Connor Brown gets a nice upgrade as well. He had a good year. He was a plus one. So he gets to stay as a two-way forward. Speed. He's definitely got some speed. Endurance. I don't know. Puck control is okay. Passing is okay. That's okay. Mainly I'm going to upgrade his defensive stats as well as his uh, speed and balance and stuff. I don't really care much for his shooting categories. Um, like shot blocking definitely is an upgrade. There you go. 84 overall, Connor Brown. Because he had a really good year. 35 point season in 56 games is quite good. Tim Stutzel. Tim Stutzla, 5.55 point per game pace. That's a 45 point season. He's about an 83 overall. Where's Tim Stutzla? Congratulations on a slight upgrade, although your defensive stats are terrible. But you are a rookie, so I will give you the benefit of the doubt for that. I'm going to give you good offensive numbers, but your defensive numbers are going to be low. Um... So I said a 45 point season, that's an 83 overall. Face off percentage was abysmal. Uh, Deking, he's good. Perfect. That's the way you want it, Tim Stutzla. I don't want to make the auto centers too broken. Uh, Nick Paul is next, 0.36 point per game pace, 30 point season. A 30-point season gets him around an 81. Wow. Nick Paul gets a nice upgrade. High top nine. Although Nick Paul did have a good year too. Passing. Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> Just boosts his offensive stats slightly and he gets an up he gets a, a big boost. Chris Tierney had a pretty down year. And it's reflected in his overall. Ryan Dezingle. How'd you do when you came back over? Where the hell is he? <laughs> he was pretty bad. It's 25 point pace. He gets a downgrade. The Ottawa Centers are not going to be the greatest team ever, but uh, that's okay. I'm really going to lower his, uh, there you go, 80 overall. Congratulations, Ryan Dezingle. Uh, Artem Anisimov with a .47 pace. That's a pretty good year. Uh, but he was more of a sub, right? So I'm going to give him a slight upgrade of any. Maybe just make him a bit better with the puck, like that is passing and puck control, and then that's it. All right. Austin Watson was on a point two nine pace. That's a twenty, just under twenty, um, just under a thirty point season. So he's gonna get a slight upgrade, but not much. Uh, upgrade his body checking and stuff even higher. 
see, like that made a difference, and then strength up higher, and then like uh, aggressiveness up higher, and maybe I'll lower his discipline. Oh, it's pretty low. All right, well, that's good. <laughs> there you go, Austin Watson. Shane Pinto looked really good. Uh, he's definitely someone I want to look at. Alex Formentin was a plus six when he came in, so I'm going to leave him at that. Eric Branstrom was very good this year. I'm going to give him an upgrade. He was very good this year. He was a plus two when he came in. He's a plus three. Good for you. Good for you, Eric Branstrom. You're a decent team body checks. Your endurance was good. Your puck control was good. Your passing was good. Your accuracy was okay. Oh. I think my dinner's ready. Seeking, aggressiveness, poise, hand eye, offensive awareness can be upgraded. I'm gonna make him an offensive defenseman. Oh, perfect! Thank you, EA Sports, for making that easier for me. All right, um, that's good. Chris Tierney, did I, did I downgrade him already? Colin White, how did you do, Colin White? You're okay, I'll leave you as is. Derek Stepan's probably going to be downgraded quite significantly. He was out most of the year, but definitely going to downgrade him. He's not that fast anymore. There you go, 81 seems fair. He's going to play Depth Roll, Eric Branson. Eric, Eric Branson was fine, if I think about it. When I look back on it, he was pretty good. How did uh, Mike Amadio do? One point in five games, can't really judge. Can't really judge anyone else on their seasons here in Ottawa, but I think I think that's how Ottawa's going to look this year. They look decent, actually. I'm kind of surprised. Um, all right, next is going to be the... Uh, who was it again? A non-playoff team. I already did Vancouver. You know these guys. I already, I already did San Jose. Uh, sorry. There we go. LA Kings. Anze Kopitar with 50 points in 56 games. Puts him at what kind of pace? A .89 point per game pace is a 73 point season. 87 overall on Zay Kopitar. Speed, body checking, yeah, yeah, yeah. 87. It's all good. Yeah, he can stay high in face. Oh, yeah. He's got really good face offs. All right, balance, durability. Can stay up there, actually. He's a good player like that. Poise, he probably performs the pass pretty well. Shot blocking. Offense awareness is going to come down. Same with defense awareness. So 87 overall for your boy, Andre Kopita. I don't see him falling off soon, so I'm going to leave him at a medium franchise. But there you go. He gets a slight downgrade, but that's okay. Drew Doughty, as well, is no longer a 91 overall. Let's be honest with ourselves. I still think he's a good defenseman in this league. I still do. Um, he has his flair every now and then. I'm going to leave him with some elite passing and puck control. Power, I'm going to leave it up there. Wrist shot power is going to come down. Agility is going to come down. Strength is going to come down a little bit. Acceleration is going to come down a little bit as he gets a bit older. Durability, he played the full season. Him and, him and Anze Kopitar don't get injured, man. Not very often, I don't think, at least. Uh, Hand-eye can stay the same. Shot blocking is fine. This is where he comes down. There you go. 86 overall. 85. Mm. <laughs> Wait a minute. I wanted him to be 86. You know, why don't I boost his offensive stats? There you go. Wait for it. He still has a pretty gifted offense defenseman, right? What the hell? Yo, EA Sports, stop putting so much value. <laughs> stop putting so much value in the uh, in the freaking uh, awareness, dude. My God. All right. Offensive defenseman for, for Drew Doughty at this point in his career. 
All right, Dustin Brown. Actually, yo, he had a decent season, actually. 52-point pace. Eight. So Dustin Brown had a decent year, actually. Uh, 31 points in 49 games is pretty good. Um, I'd be happy with that if I were him. He parks himself in front of the net. Offensive awareness can go up a little bit. Good for him. Good year for Dustin Brown. Let me give him a ooh grinder. No, 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 no. power board. He ain't no grinder. That that just screws him for every team he's ever going to play on. Uh, Alex Ifalo on a .55 point per game pace is a 45 point season. So that would put him on a 83 overall. Good for Alex Iafalo. Let me give him a slight boost in his awareness, probably, because for whatever reason, that's the only way to upgrade players in this game. 82. No, I said 45-point uh, pace is an 83. So let's just go boost his awareness slightly in his offensive awareness and defensive awareness. There you go. And uh, he can stay a, a 2 way forward. All right, Adrian Kempe. This hurts. He was on a .52 pace, 43-point season, so 83 overall. Ah, stays the same. That's not so bad. Is he a two-way forward? I don't see it. If I'm being honest, I don't see him being a two-way forward. That's just my humble opinion. I see more as like a playmaker. And there you go. And let's put him... Uh, Medium top six. LA Kings fans might hate me after this, but that's okay. Point four one. Four. Uh, Trevor Moore. Ooh, Trevor Moore did a good year this year. Uh, that's a thirty-four point pace, eighty-one overall for Trevor Moore, who's always been a seventy-six overall in this game. So, um, damn, Trevor Moore. Let's go. Good for him. Let's finally get some recognition in this game. Oh my god, his stats are terrible. Taking aggressiveness. Oh yeah, yo, I, yo, this guy grinds, man. This guy grinds. Hand eyes, boost that up there. Shot blocking. This guy's a grinder. He knows what's up. Trevor Moore, he's not going to be bottom six anymore. He's going to be uh, high top nine. Congratulations, Trevor Moore. Big upgrade for Trevor Moore. Huge. Jeff Carter. Oh, wait, he's not even on this team anymore. What am I saying? Andreas Athanasiu, 0.49 pace. It's pretty good. It's a 40-point season. Uh, that would be an 82. So he gets to say the same. Oli Mata. How did Oli Mata do? I think he... Was okay, right? Oof, not great this year. That's fine. That's why it's an 80. Sean Walker. How does Sean Walker do? Yo, let's start off by fixing Alex Abrinka. How the hell is he 86? Uh, did I not fix him last episode? He's an 89, my friend. I did it last episode. You missed it. You missed it. But welcome back to another stream. <laughs> uh, I already did that. Don't even worry. I got him up to an 89. Meet him elite. He'll grow even more. So don't even worry about that. I didn't change tapes because he didn't play, so... Who the hell knows what he is right now? But uh, don't worry, your uh, your Chicago Blackhawks are well taken care of. All right, Kevin Lankin in high starter, 83. Your 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 Blackhawks are well taken care of, my friend. But uh, I'm on the LA Kings right now. Drew Doughty and Kopitar have been dropped hard. Um, Dustin Brown's there. Lankin is not 83. Why is he too high or too low? Because uh, it's still a small sample size. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Too low? Nah, okay, I'm not, I'm not moving him up. It's too small of a sample size. That happens a lot with goalies. They'll play, like, look at Andrew Hammond. Like, everyone would have had him, like, an 89 overall with his run in Ottawa, and then all of a sudden he just stopped playing. And Subban's fine where he is. I saw his stats. He's fine. Um, all right, Olimata. Gabe Velarde. How did you do, my friend? Gabe Velarde. Gabriel Velarde. 
An 82 point season. I mean, 82 game season went out 35 points, 81 overall. So he's he's about fine where he is. Ah, you want uh, you want him 81? All right, cool. That's what my mouth came out to anyway. So I'll, I'll boost him a little bit. Uh, would you say he's more of a power forward? Just out of curiosity, would you say he's more of a power forward? What was his face off? It's like, oof, they're pretty bad. Would you say Gabe Velarde is more of a power forward? Yeah, same. They have him listed as a two-way, but they do that with every single prospect, so it's very frustrating. Literally, you look up any prospect that is like kind of like average, like an average prospect, not like a, a run-of-the-mill prospect, they every time, every time it's a two-way forward. Quinn Byfield, um, why is he not on the team? <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> Is he in the minors? I think he's in the minors. That's probably why. Uh, Trevor Moore, Willie Mata, Sean Walker. So Sean Walker, I want to look at him. Noah Gundler is a sniper. I don't know where Noah, Noah Gundler is. Um, but I'll take a note of him for you. I'll take a note of him for you. Alright, so. Uh, Sean Walker, how did you do this here, my friend? Looking at their stats. I heard some good things. He got a good extension, didn't he, Sean Walker? I think uh, a slight upgrade is fair. He got a nice extension, too. They really like him there in uh, in uh, L.A. Jeez, I'm struggling today. I'm just really excited for the Habs game, honestly. Honestly, just really excited for the Habs game. Game one, Habs versus Leafs. Walker does not get an 80. Yeah, he does. He had a good year this year. Ask any L.A. Kings fan. They'll tell you that, too. He was one of their bright spots on the team. Uh, Brendan Lemieux. Brendan Lemieux. Honestly, every time I watched a Kings recap, and which I watched most of them, um, the announcers could not stop talking about Sean Walker. It was very annoying. <laughs> Matt Roy uh, can say the same. It's pretty much Florida up. Hey, nice. Hopefully I don't get swept, man. They, uh, they've been struggling. Martin Furk did not play this year, so. Mikey Anderson, how did Mikey Anderson do? Hey, he was not bad, but I'll leave him as is because he'll grow. Austin Wagner. Eight points and 40. Ugh, rough. Carl Grundstrom. Rough. All right, <laughs> Blake Lazat. Yo, who did well in LA? I guess that's probably why they didn't do well this year. Blake Lazat can say the same. Anderson Dolan, 0.32 pace. Uh, what would that get him? 26 point season. He can get a slight upgrade. Anderson Dolan gets a Anderson Dolan gets a slight upgrade. I love the Isles Pen series. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty good. It's a pretty honestly every series so far this year. <laughs> every single series has been really fun. Um, can't complain honestly. They've all been a lot of fun this year. <laughs> They've all been a lot of fun this year, honestly. It's been really it's been really fun to watch. Really good hockey. Whoops. Did not mean to go here. It's been really good hockey this year so far in the playoffs. Cannot complain. Hopefully we get more of the same from the Canadian teams. Uh, Edmonton and Winnipeg, uh, that first game was uh, was rough for their stars, man. The, uh, the Oilers are definitely not happy with that game. Definitely not happy with that game. Bjorn fought. How did you do, my friend? Not the greatest season, so I'll leave you as is. Matt Luff. Not the greatest season. Christian Willanen. Did you even play? <laughs> did this guy even play? Not really. Uh, Curtis McDermott. Oh my god, he was awful. Elias Anderson was better than a 76, actually. You'd be surprised, but he was actually better than a 76 this year. So let's upgrade him a little bit. Get him better endurance, better puck control, better passing. Uh, slightly better shot. Better agility and acceleration. And that's good. He was better than better than uh, I expected him to be this year. So I'll give him a 79. He gets a slight upgrade. In the few games that he played. So that's why I didn't make him crazy good. All right. Goalies. Cal Peterson and Jonathan Quick. This is going to be the last... Part of the video today so if you have anybody you want me to edit that is just like a random player like not on la or the teams that i touched upon uh, let me know let me know because i'll do those 
I'll do those random players today. Peterson, 84. Yeah, I think he gets a good upgrade this year. Pretty good season. I'll, I'll look what his stats say. 9-11 uh, on a bad team. Yeah, he definitely gets an upgrade. My goodness. He was good. He was quite good. He's been good for the past couple years, actually. So, would you say high starter? What, what do you think? What do you think? What about high starter? Is that too much? All right, let me know what you think about that. I'll move on to quick and downgrade quick. If he hasn't already been downgraded. Oh man, John Quick. It's been a long time coming, my friend. There you go, 80 overall. That's being generous. Get a below 900 save percentage again. But uh, Cal Peterson, should I give him a, uh, a high elite? Let me know. Um, but uh, Troy Grosnick deserves better potential than that. He had a 922 in the NHL this year. Congratulations, Troy Grosnick. All right. Um, so you said uh, you said Noel Gundler. You want me to look at Noel Gundler? Rookie on the Hurricanes. All right, Carolina Hurricanes. Uh, Carolina. Oh, I guess he's in the minors. I'll go edit him quickly. It won't take too long. HL, and then uh, I'll, I guess I'll call it a stream. I think you left. So, uh, Noel Gundler, where are you at? Where is this guy? Am I blind? Oh, he played in Sweden this year. Louis, Lulia HF. Uh, so SHL Lulia. What the heck? No, he didn't. Am I being lied to? Where is this guy? What about Brinus? Oh, Brinus. This is put on two teams this year. Brinus. So. Looking for Gunler. Hey, there he is. Yeah, I'll make him a sniper for you. And yeah, yo, he's looked good. He's looked pretty darn good. Um, so I'll give him some better um, shooting. Dude, the guy put up four goals in, in a game. What the hell? All right, there it's a slight upgrade there in his shooting. Details. He gets to become a sniper. Sniper. I'll make his offensive awareness better because EA Sports had him as a two-way forward, so he probably has... Oh, there you go. 80 over offensive awareness. Congratulations, Noel Gunler. Don't want to make him too broken. All right, well, that's going to do it for this stream. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, huge shout-out to Iconic Brothers once again for joining the live stream. I think he left, probably because there's hockey on, and I don't blame him. But uh, that's going to do it for this one. I will, uh, today's Thursday, so I won't be on on Friday. But Saturday, stay tuned for a huge stream. We're going to do a bunch more teams because this is pretty short. If I'm being honest, this is a pretty short one because, honestly, I work, I work about eight hours a day, but it takes me two hours uh, total of travel. So, like, it leaves me, like, three, four hours to do streaming, eat dinner, try to watch some hockey. <laughs> and uh, exercise and stuff. So it's been pretty busy lately, but once I start working from home, I'll have more time. Uh, so in the coming weeks, I'll be streaming a bit more and for a bit longer. So look forward to that. I just had to go through my training firsthand. Uh, but now that I've done that training, uh, I'll be on more often. So I'll see you guys in the next one. I appreciate you all for tuning in and uh, see you guys on Saturday. Peace.